Hey, hey, hey. Hello, my people! people. And we want to say hi to Mexico. Mexico. Hey. Arriba! This guy right there that you see on your screen, Adrian Gonzalez. Whoa! This guy, Bomba his guy. swing was smooth. His swing was smooth. And I want you to listen to what he has to say right here about hitting. It's very interesting. I want you to play cold, close attention to this. All right. Another thing that, uh, that I like to talk about, you know, when we're talking about contact points and making sure that contact here, contact there, and contact there. Okay, mm -hmm. a lot of times um, what, what will help with that too is imagine, imagine that when you hit off a tee, put a couple more balls on the ground so you see them visually, but you're obviously not going to have them the same height as the ball. But imagine trying to hit three balls, you know, with the same swing. If you can hit those three balls with the same swing, then you're going to stay in that zone. And I like it. I like his mentality. You know, it's he he don't he's not like the old fashioned straight to the ball and whatever. I mean, I don't know yet for watching this, but I like the mentality of keeping the barrel in the song the longer he can. Another and then the next two balls that you see on the ground over there, that's the change up and then the slower curveball, you know, but it's one swing. Okay. Mm, good. Yeah. You hear this? Yeah. One swing. One swing. You cannot come and say, ah, this is my swing for my curveball. This is my swing for my fastball. This is my swing for Yeah, you can do that. Maybe Saturday, Saturday night is slow piece softball. Yes, maybe. You can have different swings. Because or, maybe a, time. or maybe on a Sunday league. That there's yes. not too much good pitching. Yes. So stop trying to swing. 20 different ways to get different pitches. When you get to this level, you want one swing, and then the only thing different is like you maybe hit it early, you maybe hit it back here. It's all about to get in the song early and get out late. That mentality right? is great. And it's good from him because he said old school, you know, the old guys. He's not the one that say, uh, you should go A to B, like right here, from here. Whatever. Just imagine, like, a ball coming, a curve ball 85. Maybe you're showing out, uh, when I, I see a curve ball, I like to do this. Okay. What? Okay. But now, it's a 98 fastball on your hands. Ah, when it's fastball, I just do this. You don't, you don't realize how fast it's a 98 ball coming out of the hand. From, from the hand to the catcher. Way too fast to be thinking I swing like this for curveballs and I swing like that for fastballs. No, 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 no. You got the same swing. You just react and hopefully you catch it at your right time. If not, at least keep the barrel in the song so you can catch it later. Okay? So That's that, the difference. Mm -hmm. That mentality is good. Remember, 10 miles an hour difference in the, from pitch to pitch, you can hit it with the same swing. Yeah! That's what you get. Same swing. Thank you, uh, Adrian Gonzalez. Adrian Gonzalez. Adrian Gonzalez. Thank you. Thank you for saying some knowledge like that. See, he's, say, he's staying the song long. If it's a slow pitch that he probably got a little full, he don't have no rush of trying to go to it because the energy that he's bringing it's, try, it's the right way. Try to stay long through the song. And if you're a little early, you still hit it. If you're late, you will hit it too. Because you're keeping the same swing. Yeah. You, don't, you don't have the rush of, let me go to it. Yeah. You know? So people, thank God. Look at, that. Somebody, look at, look at his, his hands. You see? All that. All that. Long through the song. Hey. Somebody need to hire him as a as a yes. head coach. I mean, for now I can hear good things. Not our difference, okay? The pitches that throw that really slow curveball, that one you'll recognize because it's slower, so you won't have to be so quick to it. So that's why you can still bank that adjustment and hit it. But see, that's what I, what I just say. When you see a curve, well, guess what? An off pitch. He don't have any rush to go to it because he got in the right energy. He just will hit it. They're three pitches, four pitches, whatever they are, in a 10 mile an hour range. So with the same swing, you can hit them all. Okay? As long as you can swing, you can swing long enough, and you finish right. Okay? And then the next two balls that you see on the ground over there, 
So if you do your swing the right way, you're naturally going to finish higher. Okay. So a good, a good reason for me to always emphasize finishing high is because if you are finishing high, that means your swing is probably going in the right direction. Okay. If you swing finish high, you're doing the right thing. But that's the thing. Some coaches out there, some, a lot of them, I, a lot of ex-players, they get mad when you do some exercise with the barrel working behind it and stuff like that. Dude, if you want the barrel finish natural high, you have to have the right energy from the get-go. You cannot finish high by going down and then finish high. That just not even, that don't even make sense when you throw in the barrel in the right direction to the ball. In the, I mean, if you throw the barrel to the ball, you have to finish right, but before you finish high, it had to happen something right over here. When you start turning your wrist and you're tilting and all that, that's a natural finish high, the right way. And that's why a lot of people misunderstand Stop it. We need to work in the right energy from back here so then we can finish high. We cannot push. We cannot go down and then finish high because obviously that don't make sense. Your hand's going to roll over. You're going to probably go around the ball and stuff like that. So if you're able to finish high, that means your swing was a good swing. But if you finish lower than you normally do, that means you probably got around the ball and you probably let your hands get away from your body. So if you do your swing the right way, you're naturally going to finish higher, okay? So good. See, but he don't go in detail of what's supposed to happen over here. That's the thing about it. I know, look at him. He goes straight. It doesn't matter what he think. It doesn't matter what he do right there. But if you if you listen, you can get more out of this. Okay. He wants you to finish high the right way. But how I can make it finish high without pushing or without trying too much? good reason for me to always emphasize finishing high is because if you are finishing high, that means your swing is probably going in the right direction. That's, that's it. stuff. So right here, that's a great coil. He got a big coil. I mean, back, leg way high. But so he used to look very calm with very, that low. Very calm very and calm. very consistent with the movement forward. But this is why he was very consistent. Some people say, no, I don't pick up my leg because I feel late because you don't know how to move forward. You can pick it up over your head if you want to, and you'll be on time. The thing is here, he he already restored, I mean, put the energy on his back leg, or gather all the gather power, all the power in the back, back hip. Leg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right there, he's coiled around, you, you can see right here, this back hip is already, like, all that power is there. Now, this is the key. Moving forward is very important how to do it because this is the difference of you can stay back on a changeup or you can react on a fastball if you jumping forward if you don't know how to move like he move because when he move forward you see his torso is more back so he stay in the back right now his way is in the yeah. back leg now when he start turning this is something I saw uh, from this swing. From this swing, you know, I don't know if he's like that all the time because I, it's too many swings to look at it. Obviously, from here, his back leg gonna start turning, but then he move forward just a little bit. Now, this is just a little bit. This is a little flaw that I would say this. just stay more in the back, right? Because if I'm trying to work somebody, I want to be future Hall of Fame. I wanna be. I want I wanted to be like Barry Bones. I wanted to be like, you know, but that's okay. You can still barrel some balls. Obviously, if you stay more back, you're going to have more barrel behind in the early in the song, and you're going to have more consistent, right? But right there, he moved just a little bit forward. That's just this swing. He may be that other swings, he stayed more back, right? But right there, it's good because he already turned in the back. Like, as soon as that front heel land, and look at what is the most important when that back leg turning, this body start tilting. Okay? But as you can see something right here, if you can see this, that barrel is going back. That barrel is blurry, <clears throat> blurry, blurry. So that tells me that that barrel is working quick behind. That's why he say, as long as you finish high, 
the right way, you're doing something right. You're doing something good, right? But this is what happens if you want to finish high the right way. You have to put the energy back here behind your head, okay, with the barrel. Your barrel, your wrist had to turn back because if you can see when his shoulders start going down, you don't see the hands going forward. The shoulders is moving, but the hands don't push. So he's right there. He's turning his wrist back so he can get the barrel early in the song. Okay, right now the barrel is fly here, somewhere blurry. It's still right there in the back. So he getting the song early, allow him to get behind the ball. So he's, he's still. covering a long way. So he's really trying to do what he's saying. Yep. Look at that. The barrel stay for long time. That shoulder tilt. The barrel just stay long. Look at that. The circle to circle. All that. All that. And that was his goal when he said in that little meeting. And look at how he finished high. Wow. Uh, but the, this is the thing. To avoid the rollover too, you have to keep posture. If you can see that teal position, that chest here, you'll be fine. Oh, what a player, bro. And look at his finish, people. I like his finish. Woo. Wow. Smooth like like it's almost like, like oh. a looking like a trophy. Yes. King Woo. Griffey right King there. King Griffey. Barry Bond Woo. also. Barry you know. Bonds too. Hey. Remember when you I used to watch him? He's he just he used to hit home run from the to the other to opposite field. Like staying back like nothing. He used yeah. to make them look good. Yeah, it's a good swing. Good coil. Good separation. Good turning the wrist, getting behind a good tilt position. Yeah. So he got a lot of a lot of good things, you know what I mean? Mexico, you got a good one right here. You got a good one right there, Mexico. Look at that. That's Christian modeling right here. Yeah. Castro Check out his hand. All right, people. We love you. Thank you for subscribe. I hope you like this video. I hope you yeah, like everything. Yeah. Send it to your kids. Send it to your players. Oh, Maybe yeah. to your coach. It's sucking. <laughs> Try you to throw your hands down and all that bull. Tell him no. Tell him no. Tell him to watch the Castro bro so he can learn. Yes. But I don't want to do what they tell you. I want to do what they do. Yes. Even the okay. even players that play college or whatever or major league and they tell you to go to do the opposite of what we're saying. Tell him no. Hey, one more thing. Stop being kiss butt. You know what I mean? Why you create your own player and be uh, the best you can be. Stop trying to be kiss butt. Ooh. Just because Barry Bong or or whoever make it, that don't mean if they tell you what to do, that don't mean you have to exactly do that. Just watch the videos and watch what happened. And then you could you get your own conclusion. But stop kissing butts. Okay? Mm -hmm. I say that because it happened to me. Mm -hmm. I used to be like that. Open your mind and learn and get better. Mm -hmm.